I've nominated Paul Welsh on behalf of Elstree Studios for a Civic Award this year. I act as a historian for Elstree Studios and currently I'm chairman of Elstree Screen Heritage. We've nominated Paul Welsh primarily because of the contribution he has played um, to the local film industry uh, over many years. But the thing I'm most proud of, I suppose, is the eight-year campaign that I chair to save Elsie Studios. He galvanised the support of the big industry names to say, look, the studios isn't just about the past, it could still be very much about the future, but we have to save it. It means a lot to me because it's from the community again, and that's important to me. It was, and being nominated by the, the studio board and, and Maurice Bright. He was a, a reporter on a TV company covering the campaign to save Elstree 20 years ago. It started as a campaign against Canon films and I didn't realise that it would be another eight years before we ended up saving the studio having had to fight Brent Walker. Well, fighting Brent Walker, you had to do it at all sorts of levels. You had to do it by publicity, by keeping the name of Elstree in the papers. You had to do it by lobbying the council and the councillors all the time to keep faith. And I would even do things like buy shares in Brent Walker so I could go to their AGM and then harangue their chairman about what they were doing. You can't underestimate the importance of Paul's contribution to the studios. Even if you park up all the other things he's involved in, just look at the studios. If these studios hadn't been saved 20 years ago, Hartsmere would be a very different place now. It was a long drawn out saga, but the main point was we succeeded. That's what our ambitions are still today and that's why I still remain involved because we've got to keep that legacy alive.